Hello everybody and welcome back to the Brickazoid's Den. It is Saturday and you know what that means. It is time for some more LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga level ideas. We are beginning the sequel trilogy movies now. We are starting of course with The Force Awakens, which this one was a bit tough to come up with ideas, at least original ones, because we already got a full length video game of tw 10 levels for this movie alone so it's kind of tough to think of a bunch of original ideas so a lot of these ideas are just going to be recycled from the from its own game from the force awakens game and we already saw a lot of footage from the trailer for this game or fairly amount uh, of footage for this games uh, or this, these levels from this movie so we kind of already know what to expect but I don't know. It, it, it's it's going to be uh, a lot of lot of recycling ideas from the from it from the Force Awakens game. But yeah, we'll get into it. So for the first open world travel of the game, we have Poe Dameron on Jakku, which we did see in the trailer for the the gameplay overview trailer for Lego Star Wars: The Skywalker Saga. They said that if you were to join or, or start the Force Awakens game, you would start with that Poe Dameron scene where he is on Jakku fighting some troopers and things like that, so we do know that this thing is confirmed. I don't know if it's going to be a full-length level or if it's just going to be kind of like the open-world hub level kind of thing, but we will have to see when the game releases. But the idea for this beginning part, or this beginning open-world travel area, is we're basically going to be taking down troopers in the in the village with uh, Lore Santeca's village or whatever it was. I forget what that place was called, but Poe Dameron, maybe you play as BB-8 as well, just like the Force Awakens video game, and you do a few puzzles, do you know, fight a few troopers, and make your way over to the first level of the game. Um, but yeah, again, this is going to be a lot of recycling from the Force Awakens game, because again, 10 levels, they were able to kind of span the entire movie, so it is tough to come up with brand new original ideas for a movie that already has a full-length game based off of it, but I am trying my best here, trying my best, but... For the first open world travel, it is going to be Poe Dameron's like situation on Jakku, trying to escape on the on his on his own X-wing, as well as you know taking down all the troopers and things like that. For the first level, uh, based off of this movie, I had level one life on Jakku. That's just kind of what I quickly named it in the notes. But this uh, this is the this is going to be the level where we're basically going to be playing as Ray and um, maybe BB-8 or something like that. I don't know exactly who the uh, co-op character could be, but m mainly Rey, and you'll be going through like the, the Star Destroyer in the beginning of the movie when she was scavenging the parts of the Star Destroyer, the, the crashed one, and you'll be doing that, and then you'll just be kind of like hanging out at our house, the, the tipped over at, at and maybe just finding BB-8 and things like that. Just very, very simple, very simple, simple level to start us off here. Um, we will be getting, you know, go down to, um, oh, what is that place called with Ugnar Plutt, I think his name was, and I haven't, I haven't watched The Force Awakens in a little while, so I apologize if I'm, uh, not too keen with my Force Awakens knowledge, but Unkar, Unkar Plutt, Unkar Plutt, that's what it is, Unkar Plutt, and you'll, you know, walk over into, like, that, whatever that, the, the Jakku, uh, Oh, no, the Jakku Trading Post Outpost area, whatever that place is called. You'll be kind of going through there with BB-8. And then, yeah, I don't know, just, just basic stuff to get acclimated to the Ray character as well as um, BB-8 um, as well. And then just kind of doing a bunch of stuff on Jakku, just getting the feel for that, for that um, world, I guess. For the next open world travel, we have the First Order ship Escape. This is, of course, the scene where Finn helps Poe Dameron to escape the, uh, it was a Star Destroyer, I believe it was, um, or some sort of ship like that, I think it was a Star Destroyer, but, yeah, basically you'll be going through the halls, and I think we did see some footage of this in the actual gameplay overview trailer, where we saw Poe Dameron running around the halls of a, of the Star Destroyer ship, so, the idea here is you'll play as Finn, you'll play as Poe Dameron, and you will be trying to escape this Star Destroyer without getting seen by any troopers or anything like that, and then detaching the the tie fighters so that you can fly off and back on down to Jakku. But yeah, I, I mean, I think this would be a good way to explore like the start, the interior of a star destroyer and things like that. Because I think whenever you have like those encounters, the uh, the ship battle encounters, the random ones in space, I think you're able to enter a star destroyer or whatever ship it is 
and like blow it up from the inside. I could be wrong about that detail, but I thought it was something like that. I could be completely wrong here, but again, this would be a good way to explore the the interior of a star destroyer and just kind of almost having like a stealth mission. And as I said before as well, we have seen some of this footage from the gameplay overview trailer, so we do know that it is going to be a thing and we do know that it is happening. I don't know if it's going to be a full length level per se, but um in my list here, my ideas list, I put it as just kind of like an open world travel hub level kind of thing and then you know you you get on the tie fighter and then that begins like the next level which um which we'll get going with right now the next level here on the list level two is jakku trading po outpost escape now this is going to be very similar to the force awakens level basically it's going to be recycled here where you play as finn you play as ray and you play as bb8 and you're escaping the jakku outpost area trading outpost area as well as just jakku in general just getting out of that place so You'll be fighting troopers, and you'll be doing different kinds of puzzles and things like that just to finally reach the Millennium Falcon um, and and fly off and, and get out of there. But I think this would be, you know, it, it was a fun level in the Force Awakens game. I just don't know how they would kind of reimagine it to be something different. I mean, I know they'll probably do a good job. I know there's definitely been a uh, gameplay shift or change uh, from Force Awakens to now where we have like a different uh, over-the-shoulder kind of camera and things like that with some of the shooting range, sh shooting parts and everything like that. So there's definitely going to be some differences with this game versus the Force Awakens game. But I think, I I'm kind of thinking, I mean, I've been thinking this for a little bit. I think the Force Awakens movie, uh, like the levels for that movie, might be like the more boring levels, maybe? I don't know. I was kind of thinking that because, you know, again, we had a whole 10 level game just based off of the force awakens i think maybe you know the levels could get a little repetitive because we've already seen them before um dragged out as well as or no, i shouldn't have said dragged out i should say like uh fully imagined like we've fully seen what kind of lego level could they could do with a force awakens game so i'm expecting a lot of recycling and things like that but i guess i'm not too opposed to it um because i think the rest of the game will be really really good I, i'm just uh Curious how those levels are going to be, you know, super different from, or if those le if those levels are going to be super different from the actual Force Awakens game. Of course, we'll have to see. But yeah, I know I kind of got sidetracked there. But yes, level two will be the Jakku Trading Outpost Escape, and I don't know. You'll just be kind of running running through Jakku, fighting troopers, taking them down, and then the end of the level or the level ends with you reaching the Millennium Falcon and you and you fly off, and that's about it. Next up, we have the next open world travel. And this one, surprise, 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 is a little bit more, little bit more original. I mean, this is, I don't know how you really explain this here, but basically this next hub level slash open world travel thing that, I, I don't know, whatever I call it, is um, hiding in the Millennium Falcon. So basically, again, you're playing as Ray, Finn, and BB-8 from the previous level, and you are trying to um, clear out like the little space in the Millennium Falcon or find that space in this, uh, the open world of the Millennium Falcon millennium falcon i can't say that it's so difficult for me to say that i don't know why but and you kind of take off like the board and then you jump into like the little hole and that begins uh level three but the idea is that this is, gives you a chance to explore the open world of the falcon um i don't know i don't know if it actually counts as open. I, I i don't know if any of the ships really count as an open world i know we have like 23 planets which is insane yeah that gameplay overview trailer was incredible but I don't know if you're actually going to be able to go into the interior of, like, Star Destroyers and other ships like that, other larger ships, and explore those open worlds as well. Um, I'd have to I'd have to look more into that, but I don't know for off the top of my head currently. I know the Force Awakens game, one of the open worlds, one of the smaller open worlds, was actually the Falcon, which was, which was pretty cool. It was, a, it was a pretty cool open world, to be honest with you. Um, and a nice little area that you could explore. You could go to, like, the different... Um, gun cannons and like different rooms in the in the falcon so it, it was pretty cool overall but i just don't know if they're going to do that again um if they're going to have that open world be a thing again but in this case in my ideas uh this open world travel is going to be uh involving the the millennium falcon and hiding in it and then that begins the next level which is level three for the next level of the game we have level three which is escaping han solo's alien things i forget what those things are called the the like rolling things with tentacles and like whatever whatever those things are called 
that's what this level is going to be is escaping those guys now we also saw some footage of this level from the gameplay trailer already so we know that this level is going to be a thing i don't know if it's going to be a open world thing or if it's going to be a full-blown level probably it's going to be a full-blown level let's be honest because that that uh was a fairly fairly notable part in the film you can see you get to play as han solo chewbacca bb8 and then also ray and finn under the under the floorboards or whatever it was and you have to kind of run away from those from those monster things as well as dealing with the uh kenja club and then some other gang i forget what they're called their other club other group but I don't know, again, we did see footage of this level already, so we know it's happening in some capacity. But, um, yeah, that, that's level 3 on my list here. For the next part of the game, we have the next open world travel slash hub level, which is exploring ta Taco... hold on. Takodana? Takodana? I think it's Takodana. But basically, you're going to be exploring this area. This is before the battle, so you're going to be going through Maz Kanata's castle and club and everything like that. There was already a level dedicated to this moment in the film in uh, the Force Awakens video game already, and now this will be an open world travel or hub level instead of a full-blown level um, like it was in the Force Awakens. You'll probably play as like Han Solo, Rey, Chewbacca, and just kind of running through Takodana as well as Maz Kanata's castle, going through like the bar area, maybe even going downstairs to find Luke's lightsaber, and then that begins the next level of the game but yeah i don't know this could be like a fun little area definitely going to be a recycled part of the game um just kind of like going through the front of maz or trying to get into maz's castle and then eventually you know going to like the bar area and then the final luke's lightsaber basement area as well so i don't know i mean i mean it, it's kind of an important part so this is definitely uh needed for the game but the, the next level, which you can probably guess just by uh, the idea of Takodana, is a, th this is a good setup to the next level, and it would make a lot of sense for this to be in the game. Now, for level four of the game, we have, of course, picking up right where the, the uh, fourth open world travel left off, we have level four, Battle on Takodana. Um, this will be just the full battle as a whole, so you'll be, you know, playing as Finn and Han and Chewbacca on the ground area. Then you can play as Poe Dameron in the skies. And then uh, a, a moment in the actual movie that I didn't think they really highlighted in the game was Rey and BB-8 in the forest going after Kylo Ren. I know they did it for the DLC level, but in that like part of the le that level, you played as Kylo Ren or Kylo Ren's point of view. So now why not play as Rey's point of view alongside BB-8? So I was thinking basically the level starts off with uh, Finn han solo and chewbacca going through like the grounds the, the destroyed maz castle and everything like that just similar to the the force awakens video game the original level that they had for that for that battle on takodana then you'll move into or maybe maybe you can swap these two parts like switch them but um the next part would be poe dameron in the skies in his x-wing taking down some tie fighters and uh basically doing what happened in the force awakens level which was securing um leia organa's ship so that she can land so like protecting the ship and then taking down all the tie fighters around it and everything like that so i don't know i, I thought that could be you know another part of the level and it is a that that whole part in the movie was pretty prominent so it's definitely going to be um in the game somehow and then i was thinking for the last part of the actual level it would be ray and bb8 i think bb8 was in that scene yeah i, I know he kind of ran back to finn uh han and chewbacca but I guess in this case, to have a co-op character to play as, you would keep BB-8 in this forest area with Ray. So Ray and BB-8 um, uh, have to kind of like run through the forest to escape Kylo. And um, yeah, that, that, that's basically my idea, just to kind of highlight that moment a little bit more. But yeah, I guess we'll move on to the next open world travel part. Now, when making this level list or whatever, I kind of forgot, or I, I basically what I do is I go through the movie and like choose different parts of the movie that I think could be translated into a Lego game. And, you know, with the, I start from the beginning, obviously, of the movie and just kind of highly take the, the different parts. Now, no wonder this Force Awakens movie actually got its own game because there's kind of a lot that could be made into a Lego level, as proved by the game, and, and it just makes sense overall with my ideas as well. So I ended up completely kind of 
forgetting the fact that Han, Chewbacca, or not forgetting, but like not saving enough space in my list here because there's only five levels that you can do plus five open world travels. So I kind of didn't account for how long Han, that whole like the whole scenes of Han, Chewbacca, and Finn, as well as Rey, um, are all on Star Killer Base. So for this next open world travel, I ended up doing entering Star Killer Base as the open world travel when it probably should be divided up into like at least one level of the actual game, which I think it is going to end up being a level of the game, um, judging by the gameplay overview trailers where we see Han um, do like a blaster shot that like ricochets and destroys destroys some bridge uh, in Star Killer Base. But yeah, basically I didn't account for the whole Star Killer entering Star Killer infiltrating it, whatever. So I ended up just having to put it as an open world travel because the final level is something else uh, from from the Star Killer area. But it is it is obviously the end of the movie. So um, I did again. I didn't account for the entering Star Killer base, but I would probably move this to be level four if I were to redo this list. But I'm not going to just just because I didn't want to. But um, yeah. So basically, what I'm trying to say here is the open world travel uh, or number five open world travel is entering Star Killer base, infiltrating it, whatever you want to call it, where Finn. Han and Chewbacca uh, infiltrate <laughs> Star Killer base, and like they maybe you can have like a fight with Cat, uh, Captain Phasma, and then finding Rey, saving her, whatever, and then that takes you into level five. Now for the final level of the Force Awakens uh, game or Force Awakens or Force Awakens movie, the final level of the Force Awakens movie is level five, which is Kylo versus Rey, of course, and as well as Finn. And also destroying Starkiller Base. So basically the whole ending of the movie, which is exactly what the Force Awakens game did. Basically going to be a, uh, a um, uh, uh, recycle, recycle like level, basically. So you, obviously you play as Rey and Finn, and you fight Kylo Ren with the lightsaber and everything. And then there's also the different part with Poe Dameron, where you're flying in your X-Wing, and you got to take down Starkiller Base. Um, and that's really it. You know, there's nothing else. Like, just a whole recycled moment. I mean... That Force Awakens final level was actually pretty good. I, I really liked that one where you'd be separated, Finn and Rey would be separated, so that one was fighting Kylo and the other was trying to do something up top to try and uh, help with the fight. And then, of course, I believe after that moment, or after that whole part of the level, you move into the flying section with Poe Dameron and actually blowing up Starkiller Base completely. And basically that's the idea. The same exact idea here is you'll be, you know, fighting Kylo and then blowing up Star Killer Base, and again, it's just going to be a recycled level from the Force Awakens game because they did really um, cover all their bases with that game. So, anyways, um, yeah, that's that's really about it. All right, so that will be all for this Lego Star Wars: The Skywalker Saga level ideas video. We covered, of course, the beginning of the sequel trilogy, The Force Awakens. Now we have just two more left. Of course, that being The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker, which are probably the videos that I'm most excited to do because this is going to be all original. We don't have any games or previous content related to The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker when it comes to LEGO video games. So this is going to be brand new ground, and I hope that uh, we can have a lot of fun with these new brand new original ideas for these next two films. But, um, yeah, so that was really about it for this video. Just wanted to, of course, continue this series as fun as it is. And, um, yeah, so if you enjoyed that video, do the comedy YouTube stuff, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later.